Good afternoon, morning, whatever, guys. <laughs> Welcome back. It's Bronwyn with Big Sky Diamond Painting. I'm here with number five in my clearance haul. The last two here are going to be Mandy Manzano's. You surprised? Probably not. So this one, I kind of debated. This was the last one I picked out of what to get. And it was kind of down to between this one and... What other one was I looking at? I can't even remember what other one I was looking at. Um, but I basically looked closer at them and realized that this one looked better in diamonds. So I ended up picking this one. And it's The Shepherd's Cottage by Mandy Manzano. And I... I don't have like a particular attachment to this image. Like I always feel like it's a little bit like religious-y feeling, but it's not overtly religious and it's gorgeous. So I got it because it's colorful and beautiful and I figure that I will enjoy making it. So we are going to get it out. Okay, so one bag of drills. All right, so. This is a round with Aurora Borealis. It's 73 by 55. So it's a big one. This is not one I'll be taking to work. Um, it's wider than my keyboard. So that's just a little bit too big. Looks like the bag wasn't even sealed. Um, let's get right into this. Um, the thing that I haven't been... Oh, yeah. So it comes with your standard round toolkit. Um, again, I'm not going to go through this whole thing, so you can go ahead and find that on one of my previous videos. Um, looks like they did just include a three-placer in this one, but it has everything. It's got the baggies, the pen, the wax, the grippy, all that good stuff. So if you want to see more about the toolkit, go ahead and look at one of my other videos. Um, one thing I am going to talk about, though, this time is just this nice velvety soft back of their canvas. Um, I know it's not, like, that big of a deal because it's the back of the canvas. Nobody's going to see the back of the canvas, ideally. But it's like a nice little touch to have. You can just, like, pet the back of your canvas while you're working on it. And I do sometimes when I'm, like, working on a diamond canvas, like pick it up and like, you know, move it around and stuff. Um, so it's not like I never get that tactile um, exposure to the back of my canvases. So we have our nine steps of diamond painting, which you can find on the website if you want a closer look. I will not be going over them in this video. Um, is that something you guys would like, though? Like, not the nine steps of diamond painting, but, like, there's a lot of how to diamond paint videos out there. Do you need one from me? Do you like my style of teaching enough that you would want, want, want me to do one? If you do, go ahead and put it in the comments. I feel like maybe I don't need to do one myself. I can just kind of contribute my tips and tricks that I've come up with but if you guys want me to make a basic um how to diamond paint video like I can definitely look into doing that okay so this one I'm definitely not going to be able to get in the full frame oh my god just wow I am really glad I chose this one um because I can tell already that this is going to be gorgeous. And I think... I... It, it makes a difference what colors something is when they're doing the rounds as to whether or not it looks good on the canvas, I think. Because as you saw with the the staring into space a few videos ago that one was round and it did not look 
you know, as good on the canvas as it's going to look in the end. But this one looks incredible on the canvas, even though it's around. And I think that it's 100% because um, you have these ones that just do have just plain old dummy circles rather than just like the lighter color in the middle. Um, I know some people don't like the training wheels because sometimes you'll see them behind the drill. Diamond Art Club's pretty good about that because theirs are definitely smaller than the drill. But, you know, if you move it around a little bit, you're still going to see it. However, it's not something that really bothers me. However, um, you know, if you, you, you it's, pos it's perfectly doable to just not have them on there. Um, or to not have like, you know, an actual circle just to do like a slightly lighter color in the middle. So there's like a faint circle, but not, you know, an actual outline. So that might be something for them to look into in the future because I like having the color like fully there so that I can see what it looks like, what it's going to look like on the canvas. Because I mean, look at that guys. Look at this little sheep. So cute. This little house. That those those hills and sunlight in the background. Like this is just gonna be incredible. And the, these trees. Like I'm this is this is the DC the DAC asthma. I mean that's that's all all I can say about it. I'm really excited about this one. I might make this for one of my aunts for Christmas, which means I need to get cracking on it. Let me see. Maybe this is small enough to take to, no, I definitely can't take this to work. I mean, maybe if I like, if I really like just strictly roll and work on it, like rolled, I could probably make this a work project. It's just my home project just isn't getting getting done very quickly, whereas my work projects are actually getting more done on them. Um, and it's just going to get slower as the holidays hit. But just wow, I'm flabbergasted at how nice this is. I mean, look at that, guys. Look at all that. Just gorgeous. All right, plenty sticky. You know that drill. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the drills. Okay. Here's a short string. There's our AB, 141. I think that's the only one. Yeah, okay, so we've got 141 AB. As always, the DAC round drills are just spectacular. I've never seen anyone have a problem with their round drills. I mean, not to say that there's never been a problem. There's always a chance for there to be problems. Um, we've got one, two, three, four bags of 310. Not too bad for a Mandy. There's that nice, like, Autumn orange red. Seven forties, the nice oranges. Noticing this one has like shorter strings for some reason. That's another seven forty color. This is one seven forty one, but you know, in the seven forties, those oranges. This is a pretty green. This is really kind of a nice charcoal gray, like dark, dark charcoal gray. Okay, here's our long string of smaller accent colors. I mean, there's just like so many colors in this. 
gosh, I love this blue. So there are 44 colors in this painting. I'm going to put the colors aside. There goes my box. Everything just fell on the floor. I'm going to put the colors aside and just make sure that you get a look at every bit of the canvas because, I mean, look at that sunset and the trees and all the stuff that's happening down here and then you've got this over here. <laughs> I love that sheep. And the little flowers. And the mountains. Just, it's gorgeous. So, yeah, this one, definitely on my short list. I am super, super happy I picked this one. All right, that guys, I, I'm going to clean this one up so I can film my last video for you. It's another Mandy. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Woo, thumbs up. Number one, number one. Okay, I'm done. Um, if you want to see the next one or more of my videos, then go ahead and hit subscribe. If you want to get notifications when I upload, then what you're going to want to do is hit the bell when you subscribe. Other than that, I will leave you with this gorgeous picture and catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.